Hey guys, this is Samuel Tay Geek. Today we're going to look at several ways to install things on Ubuntu. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to install a theme. You go to the System Preferences, Appearance, and it's starting appearance as you can see down here in the taskbar. I like how they do that so you know so you know if the program is opening or not. Appearance for some reason takes a while. Hmm. Slow for well since that's taking a while to come up, I'll just show you this how to install a plugin. I don't mind here it is. There we are. Sorry, I'm using a very I guess you can say old computer. So what you do is you click install right here as I sh I'm highlighting right here. You click install and then it brings up a theme and then you go to your desktop or wherever you have the theme and it, you have to it has to say dot tar dot gz. You click that, you open the package and it'll show you all it'll install it for you. Now based on what kind of thing you're using, it's depending. Now let's go to see how you install plugins over here. I have to install this one anyway. So here you go. You click to install plugin on the this is how you install plugins for the Firefox on that comes with Ubuntu. What you do is you select whichever plugin you want. I'm going to choose the Java plugin. Go next. And it installs it like a Windows like a Windows would. What what it does is it installs it through its own wizard that the is designed for Hardy Heron. It's taking a little bit longer. Sorry, recording the just recording the video takes up a lot of RAM and I'm doing a lot of stuff. So yeah. Let me see if I can show you anything else while this is doing this. Well, you basically get the idea. It goes in and you walk through a little walk through, you click next, accept, etc. So So the, it's asked to see if you want to install additional software. You click yes. Yada 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 yada. And it'll ask you if you want to install this package, if you want to install that package. And that's how you do it. Sorry, this is going a lot slower than I thought. I thought I had more RAM, but I only have 128 megabytes. Lucky me! Anyway, another way to install prog programs is the Sympatic Package Manager. Any program that does not have the .deb file, you just go into this and it's starting administration it's gonna ask me for my password I'm, I've already been through the drill and now you get this sort of it, this window that just like it has all kinds of upgrades and stuff you can do for all your systems it checks for upgrades yada yada you click search here you just um type in any Linux software name. I'm going to just type in Kino for an example. Kino is a very popular you know Linux program for video editing. What it does is it searches through the internet for the proper install file. This takes a while. As you can see when a, when a thing grays out that means it's having a bit of problems. Now let's go over to this other my other virtual desktop and show you something else. Now, to install a dev file is so easy, it's not even funny. Now, they, now with Ubuntu Hardy, it is every all the installing features are easy. It makes me, I don't know, it makes me happy that it's not like Firefox anymore. I mean, not Firefox, uh, Red Hat. Sorry, I'm getting browsers confused with operating systems. Anyway, back over here. Let's see, here's a dev file. 
what you do is you just click it it runs through you through the standard procedure and I find this very nice it even tells you if you already have the program on there and so you don't accidentally install it twice which is very nice as you can see it seeing if there's any in previous installations you can also choose to reinstall it so instead of un if you, you know how sometimes you want to uninstall and then reinstall well you can reinstall right off the bat so there we go that's live that's another video editing program now to install on wine all you need is a setup.exe you click that and it goes and opens wine and it goes through the standard procedures that any windows operating system would and once it's done voila so these are the ways to basically install programs without using terminal now to use a .exe file you have to have wine installed but as you can see I can use stuff that Windows doesn't have like QuickTime Player and iTunes and just to prove that it works let's just load up QuickTime Player here it'll take a little bit while to load because I'm doing so much stuff over here you know, let me close this here we are as you can see here's the pivot animator which a lot of YouTube people use and when you want to install this later when you want to install this you just go through click modify repair remove and that's just basically how it works just like it would on Windows and if you want to cancel yes I want to cancel finish and here's QuickTime as you can see, even the comp is applies to it through Wine, which is pretty awesome. So, Windows programs work flawlessly most of the time. It's just that I'm using so much of my 128 gigabyte, I mean, not gigabyte, megabytes of RAM. It's not even funny. As you can see here, QuickTime works perfectly. So, let's just close that. And that's how you install things on Ubuntu.